so I'm excited because today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I always talk about the things that you have to do when you're in LA, but today I'm gonna talk about the things that you shouldn't do when you're in Los Angeles. So let's get into it. Don't drive along the PCH in the back of a taxi cab or an Uber. Of course you wanna do the PCH, which is also known as the Pacific Coast Highway, but you really wanna do it if you've got a rental car, ideally a convertible if you ask me. But if you're in the back of a taxi cab or an Uber, you're really driving along a highway and it's kind of hard to really explore it just from the back seat. So do it, but just do it in your own car. Okay, don't jump into the ocean without dipping your toes in first. It is deceptively cold. I know that it's Southern California and everybody thinks it's beachy and hot and amazing, but really the Pacific Ocean is pretty cold. So if you're gonna go in, you might need a wetsuit. Don't try to get across town in Friday afternoon traffic. Okay, okay, I know Los Angeles is known for having a lot of traffic. We've got a lot of people and we've got even more cars, but really that's the busiest time of the week. So it's really kind of unfair when you come to the city and you try to get across town and it's just really slow. It's our worst hour. So don't try to drive across town. Maybe spend some extra time at the beach or in Beverly Hills or wherever you might be and then drive after the sun goes down. Okay, don't buy a map of the stars' homes. I get it, there are a lot of celebrities that live in Los Angeles and there are even tours that are dedicated to it. Generally speaking, if you're gonna go on a tour, I would say go the private tour route as you can kind of get into a little bit more of the residential areas, a little bit more discreetly than in say, a big bus that says celebrity homes on the side of it. So don't buy actually the celebrity homes maps because it's just really gonna give you a bunch of addresses and you're gonna go to it and be like, wow, that's a really cool gate. Don't expect a TV taping to be short. Of course, your favorite TV shows are either 30 minutes or an hour when you watch them at home, but if you get the awesome opportunity to be part of the audience, expect it to take a couple hours, or maybe several, or a few. Basically, you want it a lot for time to get there, go through security, get to your seat. They always have somebody really fun who warms up the crowd. There'll be a lot of clapping, a lot of yaying, and it really is a great time, but it doesn't happen in an hour or two. It takes a couple hours. Don't come to LA for a short trip and then try and add a day trip of going to San Diego. All right, let me preface this by saying I have much love for SD. They're great. It's a wonderful, beautiful city, but it deserves its own trip. If you're in Los Angeles, especially for only a few days, there is so much to discover here. So give it the justice that it deserves and go around the city and explore everything it has to offer. Don't underestimate the drive and distance that it takes to get to Disneyland. Now, many times when people think of Disneyland, they think, oh, it's in Los Angeles. Ah, but in fact, it is in Orange County, AKA the OC. And it generally takes about an hour, hour and 15 minute drive from any of the main hotels in the Los Angeles area. So if you're gonna go visit, try to go early in the morning, maybe leave a little bit before traffic so you can get there right at the start of the day. And it's fun and definitely worth it, but don't be shocked when you're like, oh, we gotta go. <laughs> don't come to Los Angeles and try to do the outlet mall thing. Now don't get me wrong, I love to shop just like the rest of them, but our outlet malls are really uh -uh, kind of okay. They're a solid hour drive away and the deals are just so-so. So when you're in Los Angeles, save your shopping for the boutiques in the area as well as some of our thrift stores and save your outlets for when you go to Las Vegas or Florida. Okay, don't try to be sly and take a sneaky picture of a celebrity. If you really want a picture, go up to them and ask. Or, you know what, put down the cell phone and enjoy the moment. It's kind of cool to just experience it and then take home that memory of being like, ah, oh, I saw Tom Cruise. You didn't see Tom Cruise. Okay, maybe you did. And for our bonus round, this is gonna sound a little crazy, but I get asked this all the time. Don't try and plan a day trip to the Grand Canyon or Mount Rushmore. Say what? Yeah, I know it sounds crazy. And honestly, if you have any basic understanding of American geography, you realize those places are really far away. But if you don't know, which is fine, you can't do it in a day trip. So plan that at another time and stay here in Los Angeles. Enjoy Griffith Park, enjoy the beach, enjoy so many things that Los Angeles has to offer and save those trips for another time. 
So I hope you like this video. Be sure to comment below and share what you think people should not do the next time they're in Los Angeles. I'm dying to hear what you have to say. Also, give a thumbs up and like this video. Be sure to subscribe and click the little bell for notifications on when I upload a new video. Until then, thanks for watching.